Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for another video blog. You know, this week I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and getting older. Oftentimes the focus on cerebral palsy in the media and oftentimes in foundations and charities and in news, in the news, is it's on children, cerebral palsy in children. And that really feeds into the stereotype that cerebral palsy just affects kids. Or maybe people think that having cerebral palsy is something that you outgrow as soon as you turn 18. Well, of course, nothing could be further from the truth. I say it all the time. Kids with cerebral palsy grow up to be adults with cerebral palsy. Think about this for a second. I'm 53 years old. I'm the oldest person that I know with cerebral palsy. Now, I know that there are, are older people than me in, in the country and the world with cerebral palsy. But where are the studies that are talking to people in my age group about cerebral palsy? Where are, the, where are those studies? You would think that being a man in his 50s with CP, hospitals and institutions, organizations would be asking me, hey, let's talk to you. Let's pick your brain. What's it like to have CP in your 50s? What, what was it like to have it in your 40s? What are you doing now that, uh, you know, we can uh, maybe share nationwide? What's working for you? What's not working for you? There's so much, I think, that can be gained and utilized to not, only, not help me personally, but to help the generations that are coming behind me, okay? When you have cerebral palsy and you turn 18, it's like you fall off the face of a cliff. I think people forget about people with CP once, once they get older. Um, we need to change that. Because, you know, there are 750,000, 800,000 people in this country that have cerebral palsy. How many of them are adults? I'd love to see a breakdown demographics of how many people with CP are in their 40s and 50s and the 60s and their 70s. I'd like to talk to people that have CP, you know, in their 70s. What are they doing? Uh, how are they feeling? What can I expect? I have nothing really to, to gauge my future on other than my own hard work and the fact that I've chosen to stay as active as I can and to do the what I call preventive maintenance uh, for myself going forward so that I can have a quality of life in the next 20, 25 years, 30 years, you know. Um, it's, it's kind of a lonely feeling. And I just wish that this country would shift that focus from being a child with cerebral palsy. Well, let's shift it over to somebody in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s so that we can tap into that knowledge and utilize it to help those generations that are coming up behind us. What are your thoughts? Um, let me know. Uh, share this video. And if you want to get in touch with me, get in touch with me through my website, johnwquinn.com. My email is info, I-N-F-O, at johnwquinn.com. Love to hear from you. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Look forward to uh, everything going on in, in 2016. If you haven't picked up my book, it's called Someone Like Me, An Unlikely Story of Challenge and Triumph Over Cerebral Palsy. Again, my website, johnwquinn.com. Take care, guys. Appreciate all the support. Be well. Bye-bye.